Let's use these two videos as an example. Drag and drop them to the timeline. Navigate to the Transitions tab. Look for the old film transition. If it's not already downloaded, you may need to do so by clicking on the download icon. Click on the plus sign to add it to your project or click the transition and hold bring it down between your two video clips. Once the old film transition is added, we have this gray box right between these two video clips. I play the video again, we now have an old film transition. We can adjust the transition time by dragging the gray box or go here and adjust duration. And there you have it. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Please give this video a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials. Thanks for watching. Let's use those videos as an example. To start, go to the library and add a white background to the timeline. Move it to the top layer. Adjust the duration to match your second clip. Then go to Video Basic, click Blend, and choose Overlay. Adjust Opacity to 60%. Go to Animations, click Out, and select Fade Out. Next, Duplicate the white overlay and add it to all your clips. Now, navigate to Transition and choose Pull-In. Press apply to all to add this transition effect to all of your clips. And there you have it. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Please give this video a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials. Thanks for watching. Let's use those videos as an example. To start, we drag the video before the transition into the timeline. Next, click on the text tab and add the text you want to use for your transition. You can customize the font, size, color, and position of the text to suit your video.
Move the text position in the timeline and adjust the duration. Then go to animation, add zoom in animation. Adjust the duration. To create the smooth text transition effect, we'll be using keyframes. Move the playhead to the starting point of the transition and set a keyframe for the text position. Then, move the playhead to the end point of the transition and zoom in on the text to create the desired effect. Drag another video to the timeline where the transition begins. We can see that the text has automatically moved to the top layer. We need to move the text layer to the middle. Click on an empty space in the timeline. Go to Modify. Turn on the free layer. Now, we can move the text layer to the middle. Click the top video. Go to Video Mask tab. Select Circle Mask and position the Circle Mask inside the letter O. Then add the Mask keyframe to the video. Move the Circle Mask as you move the timeline to create the transition. Now, I'll play through the transition to see how it looks. You can make further adjustments to achieve the perfect transition effect. Once you're happy with the text transition, you can add music and any other final touches to enhance your video. And there you have it. You've successfully created a smooth text transition effect in CapCut. Feel free to experiment with different text styles and transitions to make your video stand out. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Please give this video a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.
to start. Click on the menu at the top, then select Settings and choose Edit. Adjust the duration to 4 seconds and click Save. Next, drag and drop your clips into the timeline. Move the playhead to the 1 second mark and place the second clip above it. Repeat this step at the 2 second mark for another clip. Adjusting the duration as needed. Now, head over to the Video Mask tab. Choose Horizontal, rotate the mask line 90 degrees, and adjust its position as necessary. Repeat the same process for the middle layer clip. Once you're done with the mask, it's time to add some animation. Go to the Animation tab and click on Combo. Choose Fall Right. Click the top layer clip. Choose Fall Left. For the second clip on the first track, apply the Bounce 1 animation. And there you have it. Your split transition is now complete. Let's play the video and see the magic unfold. Thank you so much for watching until the end. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. If you enjoyed it, please give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tutorials like this. Thanks again for watching. See you in the next video. Let's use those videos as an example. Move the playhead to one second into the second clip. Click split. Move it to the top layer. Then go to the video cutout and click auto cutout. Add position and size keyframes at the start and end of the top layer clip. Go back to the first keyframe and drag the clip down and off the preview screen. Click first track clip. Go to the video opacity, add opacity keyframe. Move the play cursor to the end of the clip and adjust the opacity to 50%. And there you have it. We repeat the same process for the transition between the second and third clips. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Please give this video a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.